why I think the jury is going to find for Johnny Depp. Fuel me once here, driving instructor of the world. The jury is going to have to look at all three of these statements and make a decision based on the questions we're going to talk about in just a minute. I'll let you read them. The first one is the title. The second two come from inside the op-ed. Then they evaluate each of the three statements based on these criteria. Do any of them apply to Mr. Depp or insinuate anything about Mr. Depp? Hmm. Were they seen by anyone other than Mr. Depp? Oh, yes, they were. Do they convey a defamatory implication to someone who saw them other than Mr. Depp? Oh, they do. They convey it convey a defamatory implication. Are the insinuations about Mr. Depp or the implications false? Oh, they're all false. Everything about Amber is false. Did she make the statements with actual malice? A legal definition of actual malice we'll talk about in just a few minutes. And then how much should he recover if they were false? Your decisions should be governed by the instructions that follow. That's the very last line. And here's the instructions. The instructions are for each of the three statements. So, were they about Mr. Depp? Were they false? Did they have a defamatory implication about Mr. Depp? It was designed and intended by Ms. Heard? And then, do the circumstances surrounding the publication of the enjoyment, it conveyed a defamatory implication to someone who saw it other than Mr. Depp. In other words, did everyone believe this was about Mr. Depp? Now, the last two statements have to be def- decided by the greater weight of evidence. In other words, who do you believe more? Which side has the greater weight of evidence? When you're looking at all the evidence in the case, which set of evidence do you believe more? Defamation can be implication. You don't have to mention the person by name, but does it imply uh, a certain person? Does it imply like Mr. Depp? Okay, actual malice is not ill will, hatred, or bias. She doesn't have to be mean about it. She doesn't have to hate him. She doesn't have to be biased about him. Malice is simply the statement was made knowing it was false. Or, or, now remember, or, or the statement was made with willful disregard for the truth. A high degree of awareness the statement was probably false. For the title, that first statement, did she republish it? In other words, she did something other than just write the original. And the two tweets where she attached it, did she add information to the tweets? Did she add information to that op-ed? And she did. I think it's pretty clear Johnny's going to win. On the road of life, drive kind.